Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel. Guys that are new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. The ones that are coming back for a second time, thank you for joining my channel again. Um, if you have not clicked the bell, go ahead and click the bell so that you can be notified when I upload a video, do live streams, or post on my com the community tab. And guys, if you're not part of the Chatterbox, you can join the Chatterbox. The link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join. Um, you do have to be at least 18 years old or older. Also, guys, please follow me on my Instagram, which is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And my blog is Miss Serenity Smith Babies dot com. Um, what else? What else? What else I need from you guys? I need so much. <laughs> um, anyway, I am here with baby Phoebe and baby Phoebe is the Willow Awake sculpt. She is uh, sculpted by Claire Teller um, and she is painted by myself and I'm going to get her dressed while I attempt to do the behind the scenes tag and the tag is by um, wishes and wonder um, here on YouTube and you guys know I rarely do tags so when I uh, when I do one that I like I sorry I got rooting hair all over me um, when I do one it's one that intrigues me and I've been actually following along with the tags um, which has been pretty cool I like that the that I like that people are giving like their own little answers you know the thing with me with tags which is what kind of got old with me is because like when the answers start becoming redundant or people just keep saying the same thing that they think people are supposed to say to the answers anyway so I picked out one outfit I had to stop the video and change it and I'm like she probably can't fit that so I'm gonna put her on this little outfit and this little outfit I have from Marshalls that I've had for a while all right, y'all know it's going to be challenging because I can't do two things at one time. So, how do you prepare? I'm going to see if I can sit it here. No, I don't want to sit it there because I'll be in the camera. Where can I sit it? Where I can see and not have to. All right, let's see. Maybe I'll just. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. All right, how do you prepare for letting go of a doll? All right, so if I painted a doll to sell with the intentions to sell and I have to prepare to let it go, then I keep telling myself that I need the money and the doll is not mine <laughs> to keep. That's, that's one thing. But if it's a doll that's in my collection that I've had in my collection for a few weeks, a few months, um, and I feel like it's time to let it go or I need to let it go because I want something else. I, I tend to just like, um, think of what the doll is going to bring me, like what, what, what I'm trying to get if, if that's the case or, um, I try not to interact with the doll as much because usually when you feel like you're over a doll and you start dressing them and changing them and stuff, it seems like the magic rekindles itself. So I try not to interact with them. Sometime if I'm not sure, I will interact with them on purpose just so I can be like, um, just so I can know if, if, if I'm, I'm, I'm over it, if I'm okay with, you know, letting this 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 baby go um if that makes sense i'm just trying to give us more light on her um so yeah so it it, it can get very tricky and um i love these little shoes uh those things i got them i think they came from well no they came from baby gap i was going to say h and but i think they're baby gap but anyway um yeah, so that's how I let go. I just, you know, I, I have to go through all these different mental phases. Or I'll hurry up and put them up for sale and hope that they sell really quickly. <laughs> um, number two, have you ever liked a baby when you did a box opening but did not? Have you ever not liked a baby when you did a box opening but grew to love it afterwards? 
Um, no. I mean, overall, the end answer, it always ultimately ends up to be no. But I'm going to say, like, say, for instance, there's only one exception to that rule is I like the baby, but when I picked it up, I it wasn't weighted properly and I couldn't connect to it in the box opening because it didn't have weight of a real baby and I was totally thrown off by it. So in those cases, once I weight the baby, the magic happens. But if it wasn't just a weighting issue and there was something, something, it could be the slightest little thing that turned me off about that baby, ultimately at the end of the day, rather it be the next day, two weeks, two months, a year, it's going to leave. And the reason it's going to leave is going to usually be the same reason that in that box opening, I was not thrilled with the baby. That's just, honestly, that's what, that's how it goes. Um, yeah. What is this on you? What is it on you, girl? <sighs> Poor Phoebe. Um, okay, what's the next question? Next question is, my baby drawer, my baby clothes drawers are, pick one, A, in good shape, B, so-so, C, hot mess, send help. C, hot mess. Send help. <laughs> um, right now they're a hot mess. Um, like I can't even say so so because like maybe one or two drawers is halfway organized. Like I have a, some special drawers in my in my bedroom that are you know so so, but overall my baby drawers are a hot mess and I need help, help, and more help. And I still have stuff that I'm unloading that I need to put away. So, yeah, it's it's not organized and don't look like it's going to be organized all the time soon. This little girl got... Come up, baby. Sorry, guys. She is a little handful. And like I told you guys, she has some bloopers with her, her painting. Um, some stuff I did during the process, I didn't do as properly as I should have, or I ran into some areas and I had to try to troubleshoot. But anyway, I have to say that every time I do that, I keep trying not to talk about it. Um, number four, your friend is planning to buy a doll, you know, as a stolen scope. Do you approve? Do you approve, warn her or disapprove? And if so, how do you tell her how, if so, tell her how you feel. All right, so my friend is about to buy a stolen scope, and I know this. What do I do? First of all, I'm going to be like, like if it's just a blatant stolen scope, like, Say, for instance, I, you know, it's by a known sculptor that steals other artists' work. I'm going to just be like, well, honey, I know you like it. It's cute, but maybe you should go find the actual original artist and see if they have any available because that one is stolen, boo-boo. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> Girl, get your ratchet butt over there and go buy a thing. No, I'm just like, I'm going to be like, you know that's stolen, right? I mean, you know that's not, that's, a, that's not a legit sculpt. And then, you know, if she be like, well, yeah, but it's cheaper and I like their work and blah, 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 blah. Then I'm going to be like my same little speech that people hate for me to say. I'm going to be like, well... You know, in the long run, I don't know if it's worth it because you're not going to be able to really enjoy it within the community with everybody else. Like, share your babies and all the groups. And, you know, it's hard to resell those babies sometimes, you know, because other people are not, they're not going to buy stolen sculpts. And so, you know, you're going to be kind of limited to... Who you can sell it to if you decide you don't like it. 
and I'm not sure on the quality of them. I'm not gonna say that all stone sculpts quality is horrible, but because I don't know, because I haven't had one. But I'm just gonna say that I don't know. Do you want to deal with someone that blatantly still sculpts? Like, how far can their integrity be? But anyway, that's all I was saying. If she decides and say, "Hey, I'm." Well, I'm going to get it. This is my money. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'll just be like, okay, that's you. That's on you. You know, type thing. I can't waste my energy. Anyway, um, number five. It's another, um, it's another box opening video. You pick one. A, fast forward to the baby reveal. B, savor all the lead up stuff and wait to see the doll. C, fast forward to the baby then backtrack. Um, depending on the sculpt, depending on the doll, I mean, depend, yeah, right, so, okay, so I'm always going to fast forward, well, not always, every now and then, like, if they say in the title, such and such baby by so-and-so artist, and it's an artist that I've never seen a box opening from them before, I'm going to savor the moment and watch it from beginning to end. Now, if, like, <laughs> if they're dragging it out, now I'm going to put it on two times speed, <laughs> <laughs> so we can get we can get there faster but if it's you know like someone that get box openings all the time and all this stuff or something i don't know then i'm gonna always go to see so let's see two percent of the time i will savor the moment 90 percent of the time i fast forward to see but unlike some people i'm gonna be honest if i'm not that fascinated with the baby i'm not gonna go back to watch what came with the baby because I don't really care. Um, I mean, I'm just being honest. Y'all said be honest. So don't don't shoot the messenger. But um, all right. Number six. Be honest. What makes you unsubscribe from a channel? Um, uh, I'ma be honest and tell you I rarely unsubscribe from a channel. Um because I just don't, I don't, I mean, I, I just don't take the energy to go and hit the unsubscribe button, to be honest. But one of the things that I will go and say, you know what, I'm not watching. I don't want this to pop up in my feed no more. I don't want to watch them. Is if they do stuff that trigger me to want to talk about things that I don't want to bring to my channel or like they are... Like, if it's people that's, like, constantly, like, just their whole channel revolves around um, them arguing back and forth or, you know, I don't know. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I mean, even some of those I might watch, but not really. Yeah. If, if, if they don't have no other content but just them arguing about personal stuff, I don't want to watch it. Now, if it's got to do with, like, like a scam or, you know, a situation doll case or something like that, then I'm okay. But usually I'll unsubscribe if I, I just, if I get tired of it, it's like, if you've been talking about the same thing for six months, I'm kind of over it. And I'll unsubscribe. Like, I mean, how much can you say about the same situation? So, yeah. So, anyway, I will unsubscribe. That's just as a whole. That's even outside of... Um, the doll community, some other communities that I follow. Um, uh, number seven, would you say you interact in some way with a doll or dolls in your collection at least once a day? Yep. Um, sometime I'm really tired and if I don't do nothing but move one leg or brush, brush my hand across the top of their head, I'm doing, I'm touching my, my collection, some, one of the babies uh, sometimes, one, at some point in the day. Um, you find $20 in a pocket pants, pocket of your, of your pants, pick one, put it towards the week's grocery bill, donate it to your favorite charity, why would I be donating my money that I found, but anyway, I know y'all kind hearted, <laughs> um, rush out to buy more baby clothes, um, realize these aren't your pants, <laughs> um, $20 just gonna go in my 
just gonna go in my purse. I'm not gonna do any of the above. Um, nine, do you cover your dolls with with a blanket with a, with when it's chilly outside so they don't be cold? Yes. Do you foresee still being in this hobby five years from now? I hope so. Um, I, I will say yeah. Like, will I be in the community five years from now? I don't know. I can't I can say that, but I know that I will always collect dolls. Um, or have them. Even if I can't afford to collect them no more, I will hold on to some of them or something. Um, I'm going to go back to um, when you found number eight. You find twenty dollars in your pocket pants. So let's say I just found money. I know I'm changing her 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 tag, but if I found that I have like some extra money somewhere, then yes, I will probably put it towards the doll because I'll be like, well, you know, unless I'm very content in my collection at that moment, then I'll throw it in my savings. But yeah, so that's that. So anyway, this this tag is behind the scenes. Um, it's by Wishes and Wonder. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I love seeing all the answers. And she's been, been really great with tagging a lot of them on her uh, community tab. So I've been, if I'm not already subscribed to them, I've been following from there. This is little Miss Phoebe Pooh. What do you got in your mouth? Ugh. She really needs a bath, guys. It's, that's just the whole thing. Um, but that's that's this is her she is like she needs a headband or something but oh well but anyway that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the tag i like to see everybody do that tag um it's not my tag but i'm inviting you guys to do it and um thanks for watching bye bye